How's it going guys, it's Rich Junkie here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about how to wipe data factory reset the Motorola Moto G 4th Gen in a stock Android recovery. Along with that we're also talking about how to boot the device into bootloader mode, because it's part of the steps. So, uh, if your device is boot looping, won't turn on, you're having issues, maybe you got a virus on it, um, since that is becoming more likely nowadays with uh, technology changing and the Android system becoming so popular. Uh, basically, I'm going to show you how to do this. So you power off the device, or if it's like boot looping or having issues, um, basically you're just going to hold uh, volume down and power on your phone, and just keep holding them until you see this, this menu right here. Now this is technically called bootloader mode slash AP fast boot mode, flash mode. Um, so from here you can go up and down on the device until you see recovery mode and hit power. Now, you probably won't see this unless you've unlocked your bootloader. Normally, you'll see the normal boot logo there, um, but not a big deal if you have it or don't. It doesn't matter. Now, the one thing I will point out about this way of wipe data factory setting your device, um, if you have a lock screen password and a Google account added, that means you have FRP, factory reset protection, turned on. Okay, And if you wipe data factory set this way, you will have to have the Gmail and password for that Gmail account to get back into the phone. If you don't have those and you wipe data factory set this way, then you won't be able to get back in the phone. It'll be what's called FRP locked. Okay? Factory set protection locked. And you'll be locked out of your own phone. So just be aware of that. Make sure you have your Gmail account and password before you factory set the device. Whatever Gmail account was synced to this one, to this specific device. All right. So it says no commands, right? What do you do? So from here, it's very simple. Just hold power for a second. And then tap the uh, volume up button and there you go you are in recovery let's take a closer look at this recovery menu so here you go guys this is the recovery menu basically the way you navigate the recovery menu is with the volume up and down so you can see you can go through here there's quite a few options that do quite a lot of things so obviously you can reboot the system you can reboot to bootloader mode the mode we were in just a second ago uh, you can apply updates from adb or from sd card if you have the update file the ota update which is cool. You can wipe data factory set, which is what we're going to do. You can do some mounting. You can look at some logs and you can just power off the device. So we're just going to do wipe data factory reset and then you select it with the power button. And then you can do a couple things. You can um, wipe user data only or user data plus personalization. So if you have this device and it was built with uh, Moto Maker and you have like a cool boot animation that comes up um, or you have like a special welcome screen or whatever because you modified it that way you probably don't want to wipe the personalization stuff you probably just want to do wipe user data but if you want to sell it you probably want to get that off of there so there's options here I'm just gonna do wipe user uh, data only hit enter and actually it's scrolling down at the bottom and it's already done so then you can just hit reboot system now and the device will reboot so there you go. Um, now, the first boot up, if you don't have the unlock bootloader warning here, um, is going to take quite a while because what it has to do is it has to repopulate everything. It'll probably go through the Android's upgrading sequence. Um, after wipe data factory setting, you'll be greeted with the welcome screen just like you are on a brand new device. And, that, and you'll have to go through the initial setup and everything. All of your personal data will be erased, all of your settings, everything on the device. I think even internal SD card. An external SD card will be safe from wipe data factory set. So if you save your pictures to external SD card, you're good. If you save them to internal, they're going to be gone unless you back them up to your cloud or something. So I use Google Photos just because of that reason. So I'm just going to let this go. It's going to take, it's going to be sitting here spinning probably for 10 minutes before it fully boots. Wow shoot okay well that's way faster than i was expecting which is awesome so then yeah here you go here is the setup wizard and just go through your setup and you'll be rocking it so there it goes guys that's how to manually wipe data factory set your moto Mola moto g uh, stay tuned for more videos on this device like some custom rom installs i already have rooting it um, if you have the amazon version you can remove the ads i mean i've got all kinds of good stuff so check those out i'm breaking it everything and uh, we'll catch you in the next one guys root junkie out